All right, guys, this is Brian Bennett at Laptop Magazine, and here we have the Atrix 4G smartphone for AT&T. This phone is the first phone we've tested with dual-core processing from NVIDIA. It's basically running the Tegra 2 chipset, which is extremely powerful. And as you can see, it's got a 4-inch QHD resolution display. It's you know approximately as sharp as uh, the iPhone 4. Um, it's also extremely thin. Um, you can tell from this side, it's only it's actually less than a half an inch thick. Uh, and then on the bottom, you've got uh, some of these regular Android Feather Touch buttons. There's a VGA camera on the top as well for video chat. Um, on the back, you can see we've got a five megapixel camera with a flash. There's also a fingerprint scanner up top, and this also doubles as the power button, which is pretty interesting. So this phone is actually uh, really uh, nice to look at, very, uh, feels very well made, very lightweight, uh, and it's basically the first phone we've tested with dual core capability. So we're going to uh, explain some of the major features of this phone. One of the coolest things it does is it also connects to uh, two docks which extend the capability of the device. As you can see, we've got the uh, laptop dock behind it. Basically, you plug the Atrix into this uh, dock and it turns it into a laptop which adds uh, so much more functionality. There's also a uh, multimedia dock as well which allows you to output to a television um, and you know take and push all that HD content and multimedia that's on the phone uh, to your HD TV. So we're going to show you how it all connects. Uh, so take a look and you hopefully you'll enjoy the awesome features of this really powerful smartphone. Alright so here we have the Atrix 4G smartphone and the corresponding laptop dock, which is an accessory. Uh, basically, this adds a you know, complete mobile experience, uh, similar to using a laptop device. And all you have to do to install it is just uh, flip open this cradle on the back of the dock. As you can see, it's got connectors here and here. Um, on the phone, you've got uh, USB and HDMI plugs right there. And you just, all you got to do is just, just slide it into the dock. Um, pretty easy like that. And it takes a few seconds to sort of realize that it's in the dock. Um, and then now what you do is all you got to do is just flip open the display here. And as you can tell, it's an 11.5 inch uh, display. It's uh, pretty big. Um, and it just takes a couple seconds for the phone to actually boot up and, uh, you know, turn on this dock here. And basically you've got on this side, you've got a mobile view, which has all of the uh, phone functions and also what is actually going on on the phone itself. So using this large touchpad and uh, two mouse buttons, you can you know, just quickly you know, access the menu system of the phone. You can launch applications, do everything you want to do. You can uh, you know, just go back using the same uh, controls you're familiar with on the phone. Um, and you've got all that going on that side. You can launch multiple applications, and they all show up here um, as tabs, um, which is pretty handy. And then on the you know bottom here, you've got all of these uh, icons that uh, will access often used functions on the phone. So you've got contacts, you've got a dialer, you've got uh, you know messaging, and we also have an entertainment center, which uh, basically is an interface that can display all the f uh, photos and videos and and all that multimedia on the phone itself. Um, this also will uh, enable you to. Uh, to see this on uh, using the multimedia dock in your living room, it's the same interface. So on the right hand side you've got file manager for viewing all the files on the phone. Uh, you also have links um, and Firefox uh, browser as well. So basically if you just click on that it'll launch up uh, the browser uh, window and it's all using the uh, you know HSPA plus 4G network from Motorola uh, and uh, AT&T, excuse me, and basically you can see we've got full connection here, um, and we can access all of the, you know, some of the connectivity features that the phone has. So you can see we've got a full browser experience. Um, we can also launch multiple browsers um, just by clicking that. We can have lots of tabs going up here, um, and multitask, which is pretty awesome. That's all being run by the uh, Tegra 2 dual core uh, processor, which is driving this whole setup. Um, and what's really cool too is under the bottom here you've got a full laptop style key, keypad here, keyboard that has island style keys 
Um, and you know, it, it definitely offers a lot better uh, typing experience than you know what you'd expect on a cell phone. Uh, what's also great is that you can uh, view vo both of these views at once, um, or you can also go to web pages and access many of the features on the phone. Say you know you wanted to, to uh, dial a number that's uh, in a Google uh, Maps page or something like that, you can just click on the link and it'll all just come right up. So, uh, you know, just start calling and, and use all the features that you would like. You also can view your messages and accept text messages, all that kind of stuff, um, all while in the laptop mode. And of course, you can make calls too. So, uh, this dock here is basically $500 by itself, or uh, you can get the Atrix 4G smartphone plus the dock for $500. Um, but you also have to have a data plan, and then on top of that, you also have to have a tethering plan, um, which is $20 on top of everything. So it's not a, uh, a inexpensive solution, but it definitely is pretty awesome and pretty powerful and offers lots of flexibility.